from Hollywood, John Morrell and Company, makers of Three Flavor Red Heart, America's favorite dog food, present Metro Goldwyn Mayer's lovable motion picture star, Lassie. <laughs> Gentlemen, Red Heart presents the world's most famous dog, Lassie, in person. <coughs> no member of your family wants the same menu at every meal, and that includes the dog at your house. He likes variety in his food just as well as you do, which is the best possible reason to give him the variety of Red Heart's three delicious flavors, beef, fish, and cheese. Only the flavors differ, you know. All three Red Heart diets contain exactly the same wholesome meat and meat byproducts to give your dog a truly complete diet. So follow Lassie's example. Lassie speaks for Red Heart. (coughs) Enjoys it every day. And now to introduce our story, here is Lassie's owner and trainer, Rudd Weatherwhite. Thank you, Charlie. And hello, everyone. Well, today, Lassie plays a part of an Irish setter named Timmy in a story entitled, Welcome Home. The story begins in Perkins' grocery store in the little town of Wheaton. Ah, I got some awful nice carrots this morning, Miss Jeffries. Come from that little fella that's got that nice vegetable farm down the road a piece. Well, I believe I'll, I'll try a couple of bunches. All right. Now, maybe we'll... Huh? Oh, uh, excuse me a minute, Miss Jeffries. There's Timmy. Timmy? Who's he? Oh, Bill Atten's dog. Oh. Come on in, Timmy. Ah. Oh. Well, land saves a dog with a basket in its mouth. <laughs> Ain't you never been in here when Timmy came before? Well, no, I never. He's quite a dog. Belongs to old Bill Atten. Uh, Bill lives way up in the hills all by himself since his wife died back a few years. He's got a real bad heart. Oh, my. Uh, can't get out himself, so he just sends Timmy down here for the groceries. Uh, give me a basket now, Timmy. Uh, you in a hurry, Miss Jeffrey? Oh, no, not a bit. Uh, mind if I wait on Timmy, then? Uh, no, you go right ahead. Uh, you see, old Bill hasn't been able to get a phone put in way up there in the hills, so he sends me a note by Timmy in his basket. <laughs> the oh. dog growled. Now, 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 Timmy, Timmy. <laughs> I should have told you. You see, you picked up his basket and put it on the counter. He just loves that old green basket. Won't let nobody touch it but me. Oh, I see. Ah, see? Here's the note old Bill sent. Say, now. Old Bill must be real sick. He says in the note, would I please phone the doctor and ask him to rush right out. Hey, excuse me just a minute, Miss Jeffries. I better call that doctor right now. Checks out okay. Oh, uh, yes, sir? Uh, you're Mr. Perkins, I guess. Well, I'm Dawson Murdoch. My wife and I just moved onto the Why Not Farm. That's the old Atten place. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Uh, you're the folks bought old Bill Atten's house, huh? Yes. I sure felt bad when old Bill passed away two months back. We was good friends. Well, I'm not too sure I'm happy about buying the place. Why not? best view of the valley around here. Hey, well, we can't get a telephone and we're a mile from the store. Yeah, I sort of hate to leave my wife there alone. I'm gone quite a lot, you see. Well, shucks. You ought to have old Bill's dog, Timmy. Used to come to the store for Bill, carrying his old green basket in his mouth. Old Bill used to send notes to me in the basket telling what groceries he needed, and I'd make phone calls for him, too. Fact is, he sent me a note, and I called the doctor on the day he died. Oh, I'll be darned. Say, what did this dog look like? Irish setter. A pretty one, too. Well, I'll bet that's the dog that's been hanging around our house. My wife keeps chasing it out of the yard, but it comes back. Uh, sure, it must be. You tell your wife she oughtn't to chase it. Timmy's a mighty nice dog. He'd be a lot of help to your wife. It's a shame to chase him away from his old home. Well, I'll tell her, but I don't think it'll do much good. You see, my wife, he hates dogs. She's scared to death of them. Hi, Bertha, honey. 
Well, I have us well established at the local grocery store. Oh, hi, Dawson. Hello, sweet. Honey, there's something we'll have to settle right now. Oh? That dog's been back. He's pestered me ever since you've been gone. Oh, yeah. Look, I, I want to tell you about him. You know, that's a great dog. I think you might like to Johnson, keep him. Johnson, I'll have no dog around. Particularly, I won't have this great big creature. Yeah, I, I know, Bertha, but... Look, I don't insist on the dog, as you know, but... Well, this dog used to belong to the old fellow who owned the house. And, well, this is his home. I don't care. I won't now, wait, have Now, wait, wait just a minute, Bertha. Let me finish. This old dog is trained to go to the grocery store with a basket... I don't and care if he's get... trained to stand on his head. I won't have a dog around. Now, tomorrow, Dawson, if that dog's here, you'll get rid of him. Okay, okay, honey, I... I've got to drive to Centerville tomorrow, and if the dog's around, I'll take it out in the country and lose it. Okay, come on, pup. Out of the car. Hey, Timmy, Timmy. Come on, come on out. Um, you're a nice old pooch. I really wouldn't mind having you around. But I have no choice. You got to go. Now, let me see. Um, oh, here. Here's a stick. Now, look. Look to me. Not fetch. You get it? Fetch. All right. Here it goes. Now, go get it, Timmy. Go on. I'd better get out of here fast. took that dog 25 miles away from here and put him out of the car. What else can I do? Oh, get a gun and shoot him. I don't oh, care. Oh, now, look, honey, honey, you're talking nonsense. I just wouldn't shoot a dog like that. He's an awfully sweet old guy. Look, this is his home. He doesn't understand that we've taken over. I don't care what you do with him. I'm willing to live in the country, Dawson, but I will not have a dog around. I hate the thing. But, dear, the, the dog would run errands for you. Look, just give him his old green basket if we can find the thing and... He'll go to the store and he'll... Get rid of that dog. That's final. Okay, okay. I'll do something with him. Ah, so, packed and ready. Walk out to the car, honey? Mm -hmm, sure. Are you sure you've got everything you need? I'll be gone for two days. Oh, plenty of everything, dear. And at least that dog is gone. He won't pester me. Uh, yeah. Well, the guy I gave him to promised to keep him tied up. Uh, frankly, honey, I'd, I'd be happier if he were here. Ah, cool, Dawson. You mustn't worry about me. I'll do fine. Well, okay, honey. Oh, my. You have a lovely day for the trip. Yeah. Wish now I'd got the car washed. Oh, see, that reminds me. Mm -hmm. I think when you leave, I'll get the step ladder and wash the windows. Oh, there's so much to do. No, you'd better not, dear. That ladder's kind of rickety. Look, I'll wash them when I come home. Well, I'll see. Okay. Give me a kiss. Mm. Bye, dear. Bye, honey. Have a nice trip. I will. Look for me day after tomorrow. Uh-huh. Bye, dear. <sighs> now I just think I will wash those windows. Seems to me everything was in the garage. Mm-hmm. Yes, here's my pail. Oh, and here's an old green basket. I'll put my tools in there. Now, get the ladder. And oh, that infernal dog is back. Get! Get out of here. Get! I'll throw this can at you. Get! Oh! Oh, that, that creature. What do we have to do to get rid of him? Now, let's see. Oh, yes, my ladder. My dog's pestering me all the time. Bad enough having a man around messing up the house. Without having a dog come around all the time. Gosh. This ladder is awfully shaky. I'd better be careful. Oh. Now, I've brought the basket of tools up the ladder and forgot my pail of water. 
that darn dog get my knife? Well, I have to. and 69 cents. Uh, anything else, Mr. Backus? No, uh, that does it, I guess. Okay, let me get a bag here and we'll get... Huh? Well, for gosh sakes, there's Timmy. Uh, who's he? Timmy, old Bill Atten's dog. Ain't been here since old Bill died. Uh, let me open the screen door for him. Hey, come on in, Timmy. <laughs> well, for gosh sakes again, you're carrying your old green basket. Now, don't tell me Miss Murdoch changed her mind, decided to keep you after all. Here, let me take the basket. <laughs> hey, that's uh, pretty cute, huh? Ain't it, though? <laughs> yeah, I used to come here all the time with that basket. Hmm. No note in the basket. I wonder if... Say, basket's all wet. Red paint. Paint? Man, that, that's blood. Is it the dog hurt? Why, he don't... Say, I'll bet something's happened up to the Murdochs. I better get up there and see. Now let's go, Perkins. I'll go along. You feeling better, honey? Uh-huh. Kind of weak, but much better. Sure. Aren't I, Timmy? Well, the doctor says he's pleased at your progress. Another few days, you can get up. You know, you lost a lot of blood there from your cut wrist. You're lucky to be alive. I know. I said it before, and I'll say it again. If it wasn't for Timmy, I'd be dead. The doctor said if Mr. Perkins and that other man hadn't arrived, I'd have been dead in another 15 minutes. Well, thank Providence for Timmy. <laughs> And to think we tried to kick him out. I did, dear. Not you. But I'll make it up to Timmy. Sure you will. We'll make a good home for you, Timmy boy. Yes, Timmy. Welcome home, Timmy. <laughs> Well, thank you, Lassie, Betty Arnold, Fred Howard, John Daner, and Earl Keene. Now, friends, in just a moment, Rudd Weatherwax will be back to tell you about next week's story. But first, a word from our star. Say, Lassie, with spring in full bloom here in Hollywood, Rudd tells me you have spring fever. <coughs> oh, you have, huh? But, Lassie, what about the dogs in other climates who need energy to combat the cold? <coughs> oh, feed them three flavor Red Heart. Yes, it's always fair weather when good canines get together with Red Heart. That's because Red Heart gives your dog a truly complete diet to keep him healthy, happy, and handsome. And because Red Heart's three swell flavors, beef, fish, and cheese, give your dog taste variety, he always eats with a hearty appetite. Yet only the flavors differ. All three contain exactly the same wholesome meat and meat byproducts. So get those three Red Heart diets, A, B, and C, and feed them in rotation. Red Heart is the food your dog needs and wants. And now again, Lassie's owner and trainer, Rudd Weatherwax. Next week, Lassie plays the part of a boxer named Duke in a musical love story entitled Dog Meets Girl. Lassie's guest will be Ken Carson. Now, don't miss it. Lassie is presented each week at the same time by John Morrell and Company, maker of Three Flavor Red Heart, the taste-tested food that your dog will enjoy, the health-tested food that will keep him in shape. Lassie appeared by arrangement with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, who invites you to see Lassie's latest Technicolor production, starring Jeanette McDonald, Lloyd Nolan, and Claude Jarman, Jr. The Sun Comes Up. This program is produced in Hollywood by Frank Farron, directed by Harry Stewart, story by Hobart Donovan. This is Charles Lyon. Hear Dennis Day's adventures tonight on NBC.